We've had a delivery. Me? <laughs> Not you. <laughs> we've had a delivery of some privacy curtains for the van. <clears throat> and we've also got some four-way stretch carpet in there with a, well, I won't say it, I won't swear, with a, um, a boatload of adhesive spray. The first job is to get the exterior trim, well, I say exterior trim, the interior trim, carpet lined to shape and get that finished. And then we're also gonna carpet line the other side of the headliner, ready to go back onto the van. I wanna say a massive shout out to Shaw Vans for giving me an incredible discount on all of the products, the privacy curtains all round, the divider between the cab and the back, and also all of the carpet adhesive. They really did sort me out, so thanks guys. I'll leave a link in the description below to Shaw Vans if you guys wanna check out their stuff. And of course, I've got someone else helping me out today, my dad. <laughs> He's gonna be helping me out with the carpeting. We're gonna get the headliner off first and uh, probably get the bed out first actually and use that as a makeshift workbench and then start uh, spraying some glue on. What you ready? Great, what a great diary. What a, yeah. What a what? What a great diary. Oh, it's idea. <laughs> It was at this point during the edit of the video that I'd realized I was about to carpet the wrong side of the headliner. What a Rodney plonker. This is gonna cause me a headache when it comes to reattaching it. Actually, about, I'm about an inch over. Is that any good? Yeah. Right, that is the headliner carpeted. Didn't take as long as I thought it would. A very quick and easy job. It's probably gonna be the quickest and easiest job to do of the lot actually carpeting this van. Right, should we spin it over and have a look at it? Let me just pop that there. That's it. All right, yeah. Tell you what, that's a pretty sweet job that. Yeah. I actually feel incredibly grateful really doing this that a lot of the stuff that you see around me has been donated or heavily discounted if it wasn't for those companies helping me out I really wouldn't have the funds to do it so uh, thank you to everyone that's helped out so far and that's going to be helping out in the future really couldn't do it without you guys and of course everyone that's watching because if it wasn't for you guys watching then this channel wouldn't be really worth much to send some free stuff to so uh, yeah feeling uh, incredibly grateful today We've got the headliner done now. Um, we're now gonna start working on and beginning working on some of these trim pieces. These are gonna be slightly more difficult uh, than what we've obviously encountered with the headliner. That's just one flat piece of wood. So wish us luck as we start on the first trim piece. Oh, I hope we're doing this right. Oh, no, 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 not looking too bad, is it? No. You can't even tell. If you, you, no, that's okay. That's fine. You just try and trim that a bit better. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, that is the sliding door panel done. Use a standing knife to cut out the little holes where the little uh, trim clips are. Gotta get some replacement ones for these three. If anyone has got a link or can leave me a message on Instagram of where I can get those specific trim clips, I think there's about 100 different types for this specific van on different parts of the van, but it's for the side sliding door 
Maybe uh, the ones that go on the rear panels are different, I don't know. But those are the clips that I need, and I've got three that are missing. Send me a message on Instagram. I'll leave it down here. If you got some info, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, let's get cracking the rest of the panels. Damn it, first cut of the day. Ah. Okay, that is all the interior trim panels complete, including the headliner. The next task, we're now starting to prep the inside of the vehicle, ready to receive some carpet. So there was some big holes here that didn't have any wires protruding from, so we decided to tape those up. Thanks to your advice in the comments on a previous video, I saw a few of you mentioned about taping these holes up, because if you don't, the color of the carpet starts to kind of go a bit funny. Yeah. So we've covered that up. Uh, done the same on that side and the same in some of the window recesses here. They had a couple of gaps in. Uh, me and Dave have routed some two core wire down the pillar there, and that's ready to go to the leisure battery. It'll sit around here somewhere. So now, as far as prep's concerned on the window frames, I've brought this. If anyone can uh, leave a better suggestion in the comments, then please let me know, because I would like to know how to do it properly. But I brought this from Tool Station. I think it was about seven quid. Uh, tape and drape. So I think the idea with this is to kind of tape it across here, drop it down, cut it to shape, shove it in the window cracks, just so we don't get any adhesive spray on the windows, because I've seen a few videos online and a few uh, Reddit forums of people saying, as soon as you get that adhesive spray on the window, it's an absolute nightmare to get it off and you stand a high risk of scratching your window when you're trying to get it off. So we're not gonna do that. So we're gonna try and protect the windows now and get the van completely prepped to start receiving some more carpet. This is the part of the build that I've been dreading a little bit. Um, carpeting the whole side of the van. The trims were a lot easier, but uh, this is the actual part now where I'm kind of dreading it a little bit. I'm actually a little bit scared to do it, but we'll do it. You confident? When I'm here, I'm confident. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means, but yeah. Well, I'm very confident, yes. Okay, good, okay, all right. Right, let's start prepping then, and then we'll start putting some carpet on the side panels of the van. Nice. But this stuff works incredibly well. It took me first time use, and I'm not very good at doing things for the first time. <laughs> 20 seconds, I think, to do that window. So yeah, this is the way we're gonna do it, and this is the way I've seen it been done online, okay? Now you're probably gonna feel a little bit like, no, oh, no, we're not doing it that way, let's do it in segments, but this is for the best result, okay. instead of having okay. like seams and okay. stuff, okay? So, we're gonna start doing the whole top first, right? So it's gonna be a whole sheet of carpet along here, okay? We'll cut it to size, we'll measure it, and we'll cut it to size, so we haven't just got a whole roll at the back of it. It's gonna be a massive sheet load It's gonna be a massive <laughs> sheet load, yeah. <laughs> yeah, literally, a sheet load of carpet. Um, <laughs> And then what we do, once we've uh, started filling in these gaps and making sure there's no kind of uh, creases and stuff, is then we'll cut out a small, a very small hole for the actual window itself. Don't cut out a hole that's the size of the yeah, window because then you're going to really mess Whatever yourself up. Whatever you want to do, I'll do. Okay. And you can't blame me. Okay, I don't know if that's a good thing or not then. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, we'll cut out a small hole and then we can start filling in the gaps down here then. So yeah, that, that's going to be hard. That's going to be hard. This, this side is going to be the hardest, actually, because this is one whole panel. Whereas that, obviously, we have to do in two segments because you've got there and you've got the sliding door. Whereas mm -hmm. this is the fixed one. So once we've done that, yeah. everything else should be a lot easier. Oh, your breath smells of cheese and onion quiche. Is it? Yeah. What are we just eating cheese and onion? Oh, you've had some quiche as well. OK. Oh! You all right? Oh! Why can you just go? I nailed on them scissors. Oh, oh did you? Jesus. Oh, God. Oh. Your knees don't really fare too oh, well in these videos, dear, do they? Dear, dear. Oh, it's a bit nerve wracking actually doing this. Go on, carry on, you'll be all right. Be all right. <laughs> just got to do it. Just got to do it. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Just pretend you've been doing this for years. Yeah, yeah. It's my day. I do this 10 times a day. Yeah. Okay. Got it? 
Right, so now, oh. we've got, now we've got the stone. Oh, you all right? You okay? You okay? You all right? No, I'm a f***ing 66 old chap. Okay. Let me... Stanley Blade is over there. <clears throat> we use that as a peak hole, you know. That's, a, that's it. Yeah, it's a peak hole. Just leave it like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Talking good over here as well. A couple of little bits there that aren't quite stuck. Although we weren't really sure what we were doing or how to do it, we ploughed through to get the one side of the van done. Okay, so a little update on where we're on now. We're currently working on the back doors. Just trying to figure out where that rubber seal hits the door. We've just managed to do it and then follow the line of the carpet. Haven't had to close the doors yet and cut while the doors are closed. So we'll have to have a look at that once we close them in a minute. And we're just working on the slight little off pieces now, just to join them up and make it look a little bit more uniform. But this side is now done. I did have a bit of a dilemma earlier on actually, because uh, I was trying my best to try and fix those trim clips back in, but for the life of me, they wouldn't go in. But thankfully, a couple of you in the TVP group on Facebook mentioned that, yeah, they've had the same problem after carpeting. Um, even without carpet, actually, those are extremely difficult to get back in. Got the wiring through now on the side panel. That one's done, so that one's now carpeted. Just need to get the side panel on there also and get it affixed. Is that a swear word I heard? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Ships in the night. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely one of the most frustrating jobs by far doing this van so far. But we've done this side also. Once we get the other back door done, then we're going to work on the sliding door, which I fear may be probably the hardest door to do on a build like this. And then I think if we've got time at the end of the day, which I think we might have, we might start drilling some holes in the headliner because I've got some lights. Let me show you. Where are they? Where did I put them? There he is somewhere. I've got some lights in here that have recently come in the post. Just basically little LED spotlights that are going to go in the headliner. And all you have to do is unscrew them and underneath is two little screws that go into the headliner and they all wire into a six way, I suppose, adapter you'd call it. And it comes with a remote control as well. And that'll be a nice lighting solution for the headliner. So it's coming together. Slowly but surely the van is coming together. So a method that I found worked really well was cutting a small hole where the window is and then cutting into the corners of that hole to relieve some of the pressure on the carpet. I was then able to stretch the carpet in the recesses of the window. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the carpeting done. What do you think? Yeah, brilliant. Final thoughts? Um, we, we, we had it covered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Excuse the pun. But yeah, my knees are aching, my arms are aching. That sliding door wasn't as uh, hard as I thought it would be. Just got to get the panel on there, and then that'll go across there. And I've just carpeted just underneath where this like weather seal is. There's another weather seal under, uh, above there as well, only because I don't want to risk any water ingress coming in, soaking the carpet and then the water filtering through to the rest of the carpet. So it's not exactly uh, the most perfect job in the world. There's a couple of little niggles here and there. Could have put maybe a little slither of carpet there possibly, but I now have a door handle that can get me out of the van. So I haven't got to ask Matty in the morning to open the door for me or whoever else I'm camping with. And last but not least, I want to say a big thank you to Shaw Vans <coughs> who gave me an incredible discount on all of the carpet lining and also some privacy curtains, which are to come in a future video. I'll leave a link in the description below where you guys can go check out Shaw Vans. I'll also try and get a sneaky little discount code as well. I'll put it down here and uh, you can get your carpet from. They were very reasonable. Help me out with instructions on how to fit and what to do, etc. Okay, from me and my dad, I'll okay. say goodbye. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> I'll see you next time. <laughs>